Welcome back everyone to your MySQL tutorial series. My name is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2 and in this video we are going to be summarizing our discussion on relationships. Now I'm not going to do a whole lot of drawing just because I wanted to talk about it. I want you to understand conceptually what you need to do when you have one of these three relationships. And you will always have one of these three relationships when you're storing data in a database. If you don't remember all of the specific details, that's okay. You can always come back to these videos and watch it. But I want you to think through this try to memorize the content of this video because I'm not going to give you any specifics. This is going to be a rough overview and a rough summary. So the very first one we talked about was a one-to-one -one relationship. This is an attribute that describes an entity and you can just store it in the same table. You don't have to create a whole nother table for it. You can though if you want, if you want that separation for some reason. For example, if you want some data of the user stored in a different table, that's fine. The only thing you're going to need to remember is to mark the foreign key as unique. That's because we don't want to have multiple entries relating back to one entity. That would break the rules of one-to-one -one, and that is actually how you set up a one-to-many relationship. In a one-to-many relationship, you can store as many rows as you want referencing back to a single entity and that foreign key is not going to be labeled unique. The parent table, that's the table being referenced, doesn't need to know about this other table. You don't have to put any foreign keys in that table. To that table, that other table doesn't exist. It's just alone by itself, but that table that references it knows of the parent table. So the foreign keys reference the table, but there's nothing in the other table to reference it back. There is a layer of separation, and you can do that to separate one-to-one -one relationships like that, or you can do it to make one-to-many relationships. Now the third option is many-to-many -many relationships. And we actually can't store these in databases very easily, so the way we do it is to break it up into two one-to-many relationships. In this situation, you are going to need three tables, one to store one entity, one to store the other entity, and then an intermediary table to kind of break that many-to-many -many tension between the two tables. So kind of think of like the two tables fighting because they're both trying to reference each other and they want to be the the one, <laughs> I don't know, imagine I'm just kind of trying to reference each other and one wants to be in the lead <laughs> or something like that, something to imagine conflict. And then this intermediary table steps in, cuts that tension in half and separates the two entities and fixes all the problems. <laughs> in that situation, you are going to have one to many relationship facing this way and a one to many relationship facing this way. Now inside of that intermediary table, the combination of the two IDs or the foreign keys are going to be unique. That means the entity over here can be in there multiple times and the entity over here can be in there multiple times, but not the combination at the same time multiple times. <laughs> That's because it's an association. If you associate a row from over here and a row from over here, they're already associated. You don't need to associate them multiple times. That would not make sense. You can actually use the combination of the two IDs as the primary key. So in summary, one to one is just one table. One to many is two tables, and many to many is three tables. Hopefully that was helpful, guys. Please be sure to click like if you've enjoyed this video, and sub and, and so click subscribe if you want to support this channel. And as always, go check out the next video because that's when we're going to introduce a new topic, and that's going to be great. So I'll see you then.